let's kind of jump back into the history of Bob Cadez here. So uh, you woke up, you were born one day, and you became a real estate agent immediately, Just like right? Just like that, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, what was life like before real estate? Oh, boy, lots of baseball. Um, are you asking me what my occupation was before real estate? Yeah, how did you get into real estate? Well, I've always been in sales, John. If you have to get deep, deeper than that, we're in trouble. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was a carpenter at Unica Refinery. Okay. And me and my family, or my family and I, started buying uh, flip properties out here in Elsinore because back then they were like $30,000 a house. And uh, John Lewis was our agent. Good old John. Good old John. <laughs> And then we just, we were, I mean, only in, in the oil fields, you only work three days, three 12 hour shifts. So you have four days. So we were out here buying houses and flipping them. I just got tired of driving to Wilmington Refinery every day. And just got into real estate. Got into real estate. And then, when was this? The early 90s? 94, 95. 94, 95. So this is right after the 90s crash, right? Yes. So things were kind of building themselves back up a little bit in the mid 90s there. It was still, that was my first REO market go around. So, yeah. yeah, 94, I think. So you started off in an REO market, and then it got better. Correct. And then, so was that second one in that 2008 Eight. kind Late of thing? 2007. And so I, I've always been curious about the whole REO market because, um, again, to set the context, I, I was a brand new agent. I got into it. So if, if you didn't have an REO account, you pretty much didn't have any listings. So mm -hmm. you pretty much had to work with buyers and stuff during that point because nobody had equity. I mean, if they did have equity, it was like one out of a thousand type yeah. home kind of thing. Um, so how, how did the REO thing work? Because did, were you just in the right place at the right time with the right people saying the right things? Or I was. Actually, I was. In 94, the SRG group was an old REO franchise out here. And they were one of the ones I was buying properties from. Well, I was in there one day and four black SUVs rolled up and they locked the place. I was the only one in there. And they were doing some fraudulent stuff. And the guy looks at me and he's like, we don't know who you are, but you're welcome to all the files. <laughs> so I grabbed all the files. That's and the government at work for you, huh? It was the FBI. Like, we got what we need. So all the, I didn't know all these files were the actual REO contacts. Mm -hmm. And I went to, um, took all the files. I figured like four or five of the escrows were mine. I wanted those. And went and saw my buddy Frank Calante and... Good old Frankie won, G. Frankie G wanted to team up right away. He, he knew what the files were, and we just went from there. Yeah. And some of those same asset managers, we, I still talk to on a weekly basis. Wow. So they've been in the business for 20, 30 years, the REO asset managers. And they stuff. switch. Okay. A lot of them switch around. Mm -hmm. um, everybody makes fun of my ALL account or email, but that's how they all find me. Yeah, for those who don't know, Bob Cadez still has an AOL email account. Is that outdated? Dude, that was outdated in like 1998. So, yeah, you're a little behind the times there, bud. That, that AOL account's made me a lot of money. I, I bet.